Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Now, uh, look at this. Okay, prepare the children. Take a few minutes to wash the children's hands and faces. If they're small, comb their hair, and if necessary, change their clothes. They are little treasures, and he would like to see them playing the part. Uh, read the verse again, Captain Isaac and Titus. Some of your kids being snotty nose, ragtag, looking busted and nasty. Titus, Come on. Chapter 2. But meanwhile, she looking like queen of the effing hill. Go ahead. Titus chapter 2, verse 4, that they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. This is a part of loving your children. Take a few minutes to wash the kids' hands, faces, comb their hair. Okay, now look at, let's go to the far right. Look at the top. It says, listen to him. You may have a, what does that say? What's the word? What does it say? You may have Oh, you may have a dozen things to tell him. But the, but there's a light on it. I can't see his berm. But the, but the moment of his arrival. Oh, okay. Thank you. But the moment of his arrival is not the time. Let him talk first. Now that's a good thing. That means as soon as you walk in the door, we don't want to hear complaints, bills. That's not what we want to hear. Just what it says, let us talk first. You got a lot to say that when I walk through the door is not the time to tell me. I don't want to hear that. Let's go back over to the far bottom left. Prepare, for, raise it up so I can see the whole part. Prepare yourself. Take 15 minutes to rest so you'll be refreshed when he arrives. Touch up your makeup. Uh-oh. Touch up your makeup. Put a ribbon in your hair. And be fresh looking, so fresh and so clean. He has just been with a lot, been with a lot of work weary people. Be a little gay, that means happy, not homo. Be a little gay and a little more interesting. His boring day may need a lift. That's why the scripture said, A man loveth nothing more than what? The beauty of a wife. The man sees this when he comes home and look, it says, Be, be a little happy and a little more interesting. His boring day may need, may need a lift, which means she's thinking about what mindset he's, that he dealt with. Mm -hmm. He's going to recognize that when he comes home. He's going to recognize that she's been thinking about him. Exactly. Man, that's what he's, he's, look, I got to go home, man. Right. I got a good looking woman at home. I got a good woman at home. Woman home and she's, good she's meal. About, I'm running she's home. Carrying, that's what we was reading earlier. The man would fight the wars and all kind of things to get to this. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, but your your guys understand that the Israelite woman go the opposite side of what you're just reading. She, you come home, she bring the bill in front of you. You talking she, about this woman? Yeah, the Israelite woman go against this. Yes. You understand? You come home, she tell you that you don't know what I've been through inside the house. You don't know this, but that's not what the script. But that's not what the scripture say. Oh, what the statement that just made here. But she already think about herself. It's mm -hmm. just herself. Exactly. She has not think about you. She don't give a damn about you. Exactly. Just come up and pay the bill, nigga. <laughs> now look at the bottom. It says, clear away the clutter. Make one last trip through the main part of the house just before your husband arrives. Gathering up school books, toys, paper, etc. Then run a dust cloth over the tables. Your husband will feel he has reached a haven of rest and order, and it will give you a lift too. Give me the scripture about a, a pillar of rest. So, and this is why the brother went to jail that we talked about earlier. Not only did the hoe not clean, she wouldn't cook a good meal. He got tired of it. He got sick of it. He's I can't take it no more. He choked her out and went to jail. A newlywed, newlywed. They've been married how long? Two months? Three hours? No, three <laughs> hours and three days. Three I hours and three days. How long was it? A month, two months, something like that. Since Tabernacles. In jail. 
Asking a woman, he said, can you just cook some food? Can you clean the house? He said, I pay all the bills. She's like, no. No, I can't do it. You got it? Yeah. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 36, verse 24. He that getteth a wife beginneth a possession. Meaning he takes care of a possession. He takes care of her. Go ahead. A help like unto himself. She's like a help like unto him. He's out working, busting his butt, paying the bills. She's supposed to help him. Go ahead. And a pillar of rest. Pillar of pest? Rest. Pest. Rest. A pillar of rest. Pillar of stress. <laughs> look, look, look at this part here. Was that it? Go down. Go down. Okay, right here. Make him comfortable. Have him lean back in a comfortable chair. Oh, can you stop? Have him lean back in a comfortable chair or suggest he lie down in the bedroom. Have a... <laughs> I've been feeling down. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait, wait. How do y'all? Oh, go ahead, Bishop. You gonna say something? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's what we talk about. Make him comfortable. Make him lean back in a comfortable chair, or suggest he lie down in the bedroom. Have a cool or warm drink ready for him. Arrange his pillow and offer to take off his shoes. Speak in a low, soft soothing and pleasant voice hey. allow him to relax and unwind wow right. this is some good stuff now, here let me tell you let me tell you how some of the ostrich mean mean mugged mean sisters mugged sisters are taking this mm. they're saying that this is mm. male chauvinist mm. Mm. they're saying that this is yeah 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 that's what they're doing mm. they said this <laughs> this right they said this is dominary it caters to the man and all kinds of stupidness this, that's how some of these. That's how some of these women think. No, you forget. But the, these, but the woman that's that's writing this, she understands. Listen, I want my I want my husband to be with me. I want the father of my children to make sure that he stays and raise my children up properly. These are the things that I was taught to deal right. Right. Real, real quick. That shows you the that shows you the complete split person. That's the split mind and how our people are supposed to think as opposed to the way they do think. When they would view this. As show, male chauvinist, male this garbage, all that foolishness when you don't even realize the reason why this was even put up. Now, you know what, you, you know who reads stuff like this? The there clean up woman. That's it. The that, clean up woman that you read in Proverbs right says, Come to my house. That's it. My bed is perfumed. Exactly. I got food for she's you. She's in the Bible. Yeah, she's all, she's, she's in, in the Bible. She's in the Bible. She's in the Bible. I, Bishop, I read this a lot of times, and every time I read it, the brothers are dreaming. <laughs> The brothers are dreaming. Some of the brothers be married. They be dreaming. Right. This uh, is a for shame. The, for the this offended, is really a shame. For the offended in the room, Corinthians 11 and 8, one more time. One more time. Just in case the thought was, I know the thought's forgotten. Exactly. Because Esau is like, mm -hmm. they're niggas. Don't listen to them. They're wearing purple. They're in the cult. <laughs> Corinthians 11 and verse 8. One more time. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 8. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. That's what woman means. It means out of man, of the man. Next verse. Neither was the man created for the woman, uh -huh. but the woman for the man. But the what? But the woman for the man. That is the woman's purpose. That is the woman's purpose, to be made for the man. Now, Esau in all his gay glory, will tell you, no, that's not the case. You're your own person. Do what you want to do. And that's how you end up having the abortions, your child support. You end up, you end up a single mother, right. single baby mother. Children in that's jail. That's you follow in the white man. And this white woman has her husband. Right. She's not in the abortion clinics. Exactly. She's not fighting her man in court because right. she has her man. She follows these instructions. Y'all listen to her while she does what she's supposed to do. So y'all have fun being... Oh, we're, you're being misogynistic. Right, right. You're being domineering. Because the white woman, this is probably her right who wrote this. I'm, I'm going to be surprised right. if the white woman wrote this. I'm, 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 I'm not going to be surprised if Edomite wrote this. Right. But y'all sit there and listen to the ones that are set up by the white man to convince you to be rebellious while their women are convinced I can be rebellious. That's why, if you notice, you had in the office, you had two candidates. You had Hillary Clinton, the white woman running for office, 
and you had Trump running in office, who did the feminists pick? You they mess picked up with Trump. That. The white feminist woman said, listen, the man should be a president. Mm-hmm. Don't they tell you sisters, the hell with the black man. He ain't nothing. You're your own person. But in the meantime, they, they picked their own male counterpart to idiot to run the freaking um, country. Right. Meanwhile, so right. Think about Me- that. Meanwhile, they liberated the black woman. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That's how they think. It. What we just read up there, they said you are liberated from all of those things that we just read. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So that's the next part. It's, go back to the article so we can see it. We're almost done. We're almost done. Uh, we read that. Make them comfortable. We read that, right? Go up, 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 up. Some don'ts. Don't greet him with problems or complaints. Wow. Don't complain if he's late for dinner. Count this as minor compared with what he might have gone through that day. Wow. You sisters, see, nobody's writing. Nobody. That's why a lot of your marriages are going to fail. I'm telling you. Go up. Minimize all noise. At the time of his arrival, eliminate all noise of washer, dryer, dishwasher, or vacuum. Try to encourage the children to be quiet. Be happy to see him. Greet him with a warm smile and be glad to see him. Now that's don't y'all want that when you come home? Oh, she yeah. greets you at the door, Sounds hug, like kiss, plate of food. You feel B- like Bishop, a king. You know what? With this no th- panties. That's what you want. That's what you want. Bishop, you just said something. I was over here paying attention to something else, but the words of what you said. You said nobody's writing these things down. No, look, nobody's writing. Nobody's writing. That They'll be the ones having the- counsel with Deacon right. Deacon Asap. He's not right. The man ain't right. Bishop, Bishop. You know why they're going to talk? They ain't talking to me. Bishop. I'm going to send an ass you behind right Bishop, back there. They are too. Let's show you. The, Bishop. Ashamed <laughs> to write this down. Bishop. The ones that. There's two different type of women that we're going to have from this class. You're going to have the ones that leave here smiling because when they go home, they got this the in their hand. Their yeah. husband's wallet because they did the right thing and all the credit cards. <laughs> then you got the nasty black nigga woman that said that that wasn't for them who got this in their hand. He hit me <laughs> with a boot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's very simple. I know brothers who have money in their pocket and they have money and they hide it from their wives. You know why? Because they don't feel happy to spend on them. They don't feel happy to spend on them. Then you got brothers who they broke and their wife, they spend on their wife because their wife makes them happy. Okay, so we're laughing and we're joking, but this is serious. And the the white man knows white people study ants. You could go and they'll study ants. They study everything. You don't think they study their woman. So what they're saying is true. They've studied the biological makeup, the spirit of the woman and the man, and they know what the man wants. It's the black woman. That's in hell someplace with Satan. <laughs> okay? He said, don't worry about that boot. We're going to get him locked up. Yeah. Hey, Deacon Asaph, <laughs> you mentioned something a while back when we was in the other school, but I never forgot it. Come Super Bowl time, the people that work in the yes, building. Yes, yes, yes. Listen to this here. A lot, of you, a lot of y'all haven't heard this. Y'all need to hear this. Where I work, it's 98% Edomite. The women are getting together. They're in the lobby. They at Super Bowl time. They got jerseys on. They got football memorabilia. They got all the food. They have beer. They have everything. They got the kids. They send the kids off to go and have a party for their man while they watch sports. And they're involved. And I hear the women saying, we don't care about that stuff, but they like it. So they make a big deal, all of them there who know nothing about sports. Exactly. But the black woman can't support her man. Well, Getting right with God. You're a black devil that the Bible speaks of. And it must be known, it must be made clear that you do have black women that are enemies of God. That hate us so much that they will go on YouTube and speak about it openly to the world. How much they hate us and wish bad on us and lie on us. Now look at that other one at the bottom. It says, the goal. Try to make your home a place of, what's that word? Peace. Peace. And order. Not pieces, right. Get that in Proverbs 14 and 1. Not pieces. Try to make your home a place of peace and order where your husband can renew himself 
in body and spirit. Renew himself. Oh, bishop, his bishop. Fix bishop. them all up and see, this is, Lord have mercy. Bishop. This is crazy. This is crazy. Your house is supposed to be the place where your batteries are recharged, so yes. to speak, so you could go back out and conquer the world again. That's the mind, that's the support that's in the house waiting for him. Just say, you know what? My husband has been warring all day to keep take take care of us. Make sure that the kids are taken care of, make sure that I'm taken care of. He's at war. When he comes home, I'm going to take care of him so that he could go right back out the next day and conquer some more. Yeah, because that's like uh, the way Bishop went in the class out. It's just like the beginning of the kingdom. She had to make you feel the kingdom. You understand how he's going to be. But you ain't feeling the kingdom. You feel in affliction. Right. You right. feel in tribulation. Right. Bidding down, head down. <laughs> <laughs> the point that, right. The point that I'm making is that the, the, the reason why I said what I just said there about when the man comes home, she's making sure that he's repaired, just like what we're reading here. It says to renew him in spirit, body, and soul, and all of that, to send him back out there. She does, she does that because it's a benefit to her. This is not male chauvinist. What, is, what in the world is wrong with these women? That's not male chauvinist. She realizes that when she does that, that's going to bring peace to her world. That's going to bring stability to her world and her children. She's wise enough to know that. Yeah, what's up? Deacon, I'm going to back you. Okay? This is gotta, crazy. I'm going to show you something. This is really crazy. I'm going to show you something. Show Calm, you down, something. Calm down, y'all. What's up? Calm down. <laughs> Don't hurt nobody, brother. Calm down. Deacon. Don't hurt nobody. Watch this. It's really watch an this, insult. Watch That's my point. It's an insult. It's an insult to have to bring this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, an uh, insult. Uh, 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 Deacon Malachi, uh, hold him. Hold him, please. <laughs> it is... And this is why. This is why. Because they're trying to paint the perception of us that we're chauvinists. They're trying to paint the perception that we bash women. But guess what the Bible says has the most power on the earth? Who knows? The woman. The real power lies in the woman. It's just the black woman is too stupid to see it. Okay, the scriptures tell you that the women have the power. They just don't know how to harness it. They don't know how to utilize it. So they don't get the, the, the credit cards and the wallet. They get this. This is what they get. And they're behind. Das boot. Das boot. Deacon Asaph is in my corner. That's what I'm okay. talking about. <laughs> Captain Isaac, read that. Read that. Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 1. Every wise woman buildeth her house. Every wise woman buildeth her house. But the foolish plucketh it down with her hands. That's the one that gets the boot, like Deacon Asaph was saying. That's it right so there. So you sisters got to determine where are you fitting in, in this. So what we're reading is about a wise woman. Can we go back up? Because there's something we didn't get. We read Minimize, oh, oh, make the evening his. Oh, okay, wait, let me read this one. Never complain. Did we read this one already? Never complain if he does not take you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never complain if he does not take you out to dinner. Oh, we get that a lot. Or to other places of entertainment. Instead, try to understand his world of strain and pressure. His need to come home and relax. Now that's heavy right there. See, these sisters know that you brothers, some of you brothers, some of brothers only make minimum wage or whatever. The money he makes is to pay the rent, keep the lights on, and have food bought. She wants you to find some extra money some, from somewhere. Maybe it's going to fall out of the sky. And take them all across the world. Do this and do that. Je Why don't you make that house a night to remember? Isn't that a song? Yes. Make this a night to, to remember. Rem oh, you know, get ready, baby, tonight. <laughs> yeah, 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 Shalomar, that's it. Was there more to this? Uh-oh, uh-oh, look at that top one. Did we read that top one? Listen to him. You may have a dozen things to tell him, but the moment of his arrival is not the time. Let him talk first. Oh, we man. read all this, right? We read it. No, we you got to read it 10 times. That's all. <laughs> exactly. You can't read it, you can't read it enough. You know, you, you know something, Bishop? You know, like uh, Deacon Aesop and your guys just said, you're... You're like doctor to this. You give, like a, a patient will come in front of you, you will explain to the patient what he's fighting with, or what's going on within he or her body. Then you also, at the end of the, uh, look man how we just read the medicine that can heal these diseases our sisters have. But the wicked sister, 
Like Aesop said, she deserved the Timberland boots. The hell with your black boots. The Timberland boots. Right. Just in case that thought is still there about being chauvinist or you having power or whatever, just understand one thing. Every single position women have today in power or any authority you have is what man gave you. Just make that, make that very clear. Every position you have, whether you're a police woman or a fire woman or a construction woman, because man, 100 years ago, gave you liberty to do so. Any rally you hold, any protest you have in the street, it's because man allows it that runs the planet. That's the way of the world. Deal with it or just die. It's one or the other. It's deal with it or death. One or the other. Hey, God gives us. God, can you read the order, Captain Isaac? Now, God made it like this for a reason. Now, it's, your arms is too short, sister, to box with God. You could, all, you could do videos and curse us out, but we're only going to give you what God says. That's all we can do. And we're telling you this out of love, not out of hate, not of, out of male chauvinism, because this is God's divine order. Read that. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Be followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. And I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. So if you sisters don't agree with that, then you're in the wrong place. You need the wrong planet. You need to join T.D. Jakes with Woman Thou Art Loosed. And, and wait for the missiles to make you walking charcoal. Now, uh, as we close out, I was just sent this video. Can you look? We'll close out here with our brother Chris Rock. He made a statement here. Now, I hope you sisters took notes about have dinner ready, prepare the children, listen to him, make the evening his, minimize all noise, prepare yourself, some don'ts, the goal. These things y'all should have written down. Well, we need to do it into man. a flyer. We need to, I, <laughs> right. I, I mean, Officer Abiel, could you print this out and maybe, you know, for the sisters. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, let's see what our brother Chris Rock said. Solomon sent this to me. Thank you, Solomon. Oh, yeah. uh, if y'all got small children in the room, yeah. cover your ears, have them go out the room. Come on, we ready over there? Ladies, ladies, it ain't that you talk too much. You just talk too much as soon as we get in the fucking door. Let a man get situated. We don't need to hear everything right away. As soon as you take one step in, you're going to be... Hey, let me get my other foot in the fucking door. Let me get something to eat. Let me get something to drink. Let me take a shit. Go in the fucking kitchen and give me my big piece of chicken. I'm out of here. Thank you, New York. All praises. So with that, brothers, sisters, we pray that y'all glean something from today's lesson. All praises to the Most High. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.